Hi, I am Yeti Nieuwenhuis, Certified IAWP Wellness Coach at True Yeti. And I live on a real farm, so if you hear any noises, it's the animals, it's the farm life. In this video, I will help you understand what effect the scale can have on your mental well-being. I will show you how you can measure your health and weight loss progress instead. For example, trying on some of your clothes and or asking yourself some questions. That can be a different kind of way to measure your progress. I am a coach and I'm here to help you feel better about yourself. And the scale is not part of the process. Here's why. The skill can actually sabotage your weight loss efforts. I'm sure for many of you this might be true without you really knowing this. It for sure was sabotaging my weight loss efforts. Even worse, it was sabotaging and ruling my life. You see, I would step on the scale every single day and some days even multiple times. I would be happy if the number was down. I would feel like a winner. I had a good day and it was addicting. I was addicted, addicted to getting that number down. I was addicted to that feeling. But when a day would arrive that the number was higher, which by the way is totally normal because our weight fluctuates daily, um, it, it depends on our hormones, on our stress levels, if we had enough sleep, if we did like strength training workout or other workout, if we ate more carbs or less. If that number was higher, I would be depressed all day and I would definitely skip, step on the scale multiple times to see if the number would change. And in my mind, I would go with the lowest number of all those weighing weigh in efforts when the scale was showing a number too high my day would already be ruined i would feel like a failure and i was telling myself that all my diet efforts were worthless later in the day i would break well what the heck does it matter to eat healthy and diet i can just eat a cookie i deserve it and that one cookie would become 10 or maybe even 20 and then I would move on to the ice cream. I would end up in a spiral toxic binge for days. Relying on the scale as if it is the most important thing is a habit that we learned from others. We learned it from the media, we learned it from family members or friends. It's a habit and it can be a limiting belief. And you have the power to change this limiting belief. Only you, you have the choice. You can decide as of today to send your scale to jail. That was freedom for me. And you can change this habit into more self-loving habits. Learning to rely on new habits that measure your progress. Your clothes, for example, they tell the truth. The fact that you fit in your clothes is a very reliable way to measure your progress. You can even have a designated pair of jeans that you can try on maybe every two weeks or maybe every month to see if you make progress. Your clothes tell the truth. Since I have implemented this, I have stopped the toxic yo-yo cycle. Another way to measure your progress is to ask yourself some questions. For example, how am I feeling in my body today? Do I feel tired? Do I have a lot of energy? How do I feel in my mind? Am I being kind to myself? Am I making healthier food choices? Stop caring about that number. That number is just a number. It doesn't say anything about you. You are you. Whenever you feel tempted to step on that scale, but you know deep down that it won't make you feel good, do this instead. Feel how your clothes fits. Try on some stuff. 
and ask yourself some questions. How am I feeling overall in my body? How am I feeling in my mind? Am I kind to myself? Am I talking mean to myself? And am I making better and healthier food choices? Are you ready to be a little rebel like me and want to try my free meal plan? By the way, day seven is your own rebel car party. Download the meal plan from my website, trueyeti.com. And you can find that below in the comments. Okay, talk to you next time.